Hey guys, I wanted to show you how I've been using Recompose to show a loading screen while I'm fetching data with Apollo. So I have with me a little sandbox right here example where I am rendering this colors component. And colors over here is very basic. And this is how I usually have been doing things. Um, so I have a component called colors and then I have my query here. And you'll notice how I'm doing a GraphQL query and uh, injecting that into the colors component. And then I check whether I'm loading here. And if I'm loading, I return null. And then otherwise, I display the colors over here. So if I refresh that, we can see just a blank white screen after this reloads, of course. And then um, the data will appear. So it's kind of annoying to have to put this loading logic here every single time since pretty much every single one of my query components is going to do something like this. So what I've been doing is creating a function called null loader. So what null loader does is it uses something by recompose. It's called the branch um, component. And what branch does is it takes a function called loading and loading will result in either true or false. If it's true, it will do whatever is here. So in this case, it'll render nothing, which is the same as returning null. Otherwise, it'll continue and render the regular component. So let me show you how I would use this null loader. So right here, I have colors two. And with colors two, you'll notice I'm no longer checking for loading in my colors component, but I am importing the null loader and compose from React Apollo. So here at the bottom, you'll notice I'm composing these two higher order components. First, I have the GraphQL um, component, higher order component that runs. And what that does is that'll put in the props um, a data component. And in data, there'll be loading and there'll also be colors. So here is my null loader. So what happens is I check for props and the function gets the props. And these props are given to us because we have the higher order component right here. This would not work if we put null loader up here. Um, so if I had it, for example, above GraphQL, that would not work. And you can already see, well, that's because I don't have a comma there, but uh, it also just wouldn't work logically because we need these uh, props that the GraphQL higher order component gives us. But what this does is we now check props.data loading. If that is true, then we render nothing. And that's what we saw right here. But what branch does is if it's false, so we're no longer loading, it'll just go ahead and render this colors component. So if I come into index.js and I render colors too, and I save this, we'll see the exact same thing happens where the screen is white and then we see it show up. Um, but now we don't have to worry about putting an if statement to check for loading we just can directly get the data. So this basically um, lets our component focus on what we want our component to do. So I really like that. And usually you don't want to just return null, right? A blank screen. That's easy to do, but a lot of time you want to do like a loading indicator of some sort. And uh, you can also do that with recompose. So I could use another loader called a component loader. So what I do is I take a component as my second prop now, and I branch. So if I'm loading, what I do is I call the render component um, from recompose. So instead of rendering null, I now render this component whenever this is true. So let's see this in action. So I'm using a React spin kit here. So this is what I'm using for to display the spinner. You could use pretty much any React component you wanted. It could be your own custom one or this library. And I'm importing the component loader. So now instead of null loader, I'm using component loader. I'm grabbing the props and then I'm returning a Boolean whether we're loading. So if we're loading is true, then we display this spinner. Um, so if we come over here to index.js, I can change this to colors three and colors three is what has that stuff in it. And we can see now we get this dot, dot, dot before, and then it loads in. So now you can see this is very easy. We can pretty much any component we want, it doesn't even have to be a spinner, right? Will be loaded while it's loading. 
um, or displayed while it's loading. And you can even pass in, for example, so here is React Spin Kit over here. We can see all these different loaders. Um, so the one I chose was this guy right here. So let's say I want to pass in these props. You can do something like this. So here's colors four is I just did my spinner and then it's a function that renders the spinner with the props I want. And then I just uh, use component loading to render that spinner. So you can see I can very easily, and that's com colors four, let's load that and you can see it. Um, so you can very easily add um, lots of different loading spinners or things that happen before your uh, component uh, with these two functions. So component loader is really nice and null loader if you wanna just load nothing. So I recommend checking these out and this also allows you to separate um, just your component code with your, um, you know, so it's not in the same file. So I no longer have to do a check in this. So now this function could just be, or this component could just be a view where it doesn't have any business logic, right? So we had some business logic up here to check whether we're loading. It just is a presentational component or presentational piece where it just renders the data. So that's uh, very important. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope that was helpful. I recommend checking it out. Uh, I've ha been really enjoying this. It makes it very easy for me to add it. And then what I wanna do tomorrow is show you how to do this exact same thing with the new query component. So this is using higher order components, um, but you can also do a similar type of thing with the query component. So we'll look at that tomorrow.